Any idea where we are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Can we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. I want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? I understand. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me in Jurassic Park the game. We are picking it up here with Jerry, his daughter Jess, and Dr. Sorkin, and we uh, just escaped the raptors and are now working our way towards the underwater exhibit here at Jurassic Park. Uh, so let's see what we have to, to do here. Uh, let's see, your radio shows... Uh, why aren't you chief? Or, uh, ba -ba -ba. let's go with these Don't corridors. Worry, Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. And then let's go with uh, your radio show, I so, guess. So, Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He is awful. He certainly is. I guess there was a reason Ooh, it was that's just not a, a dream. Good sign. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Uh, and then let's go with well, Chief. Well, as long as we're getting to know one another, how is it that Dr. Wu became Chief Geneticist over you? That's an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from the tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer, but would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare-no-expense philosophy has limits, I guess. Hmm. Exactly. Henry, Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. All right, and I guess we have to ask the Are last question here. you sure we shouldn't here. head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Has anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Normally, I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. <laughs> Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? I suppose. Oh well, I'm probably better off without them. Just got some friends following us through the tunnels. What's Jess? Jess must have, like, some intuition or something. Or did she take the cigs? Ah. Uh... Not a good habit to start. Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Then again, maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run! No time! Hide! Alright, here we go. Some quick reaction times. We got this. Hippity hop through the rock in the tree. There we go. 
god, what a get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Out of here. Chasing, what is that? Some sort of duck bill. I don't know what the specific name is. It can't see you unless you move. Oh man, there's a big old cockroach. Poor timing. Off my face. Oh. Come on, Billy. You got this, man. Easy, girl. T Rex is snacking on some. Ah, crap. Damn it! Come on. Leaving now! Getting chased by a T Rex. They got this. Oh, come on. Go back to that. <laughs> Just gonna light up in the tunnel? And we're still being stalked. Care for a lysine supplement? No thanks. <laughs> well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external That's supply. That's what it was, parasaurs. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. Oops. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The lysine contingency. Uh, cured the lysine. Uh, we'll go with this You're one. insane. Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem. Do ecosystem with just a dinosaurs can't breed. Uh, we'll go with this one. We've already denied them the right to breed. That's their death sentence. Yes, but who knows how much damage they can do before then? A single brachiosaur can destroy as much jungle in one day as a whole herd of elephants. I can imagine the impact a group of them would have on a rainforest. And we're going to go for 120 miles do of ocean. Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. What if they can swim? What about relocation? And we'll go with the Pteranodons. Tell me this. Did you reverse the Lysine contingency with the Pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder dinosauria exclusively. If I tried to account for the pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. <laughs> now that I think about it, though, targeting only pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I going to have to ask Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? <laughs> it won't come to that. If I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry if the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. Uh, and then I guess let's go for relocation. Yes, the ocean provides a natural barrier, but how can you guarantee InGen won't move some of these dinosaurs to a less isolated place? Look, I'll tell InGen all about this when we get off the island. They can make an informed decision about if and where they want to move any dinosaurs. Yeah, man, we're really going to go through all Do of our... Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. If you've seen them swim, escape is unlikely. We'll go. If you see them in the field every day. Have you ever even seen one of our dinosaurs try to swim? We keep them in cages, Laura. They don't get the chance. I know this. More quadrupeds can swim than can't. All right. <laughs> I'll concede that it's possible there are sauropods that can swim. But I still believe that 120 miles of open water is an effective barrier. Uh, the, we'll go if the moral choice the is clear. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. Isn't killing them the point and conversation? No, we're going to keep going. I don't want to like see this these animals die. Debate. I really don't. But we all agreed to the Lysine contingency. It was a prerequisite to working here. For you, maybe. But you have to remember, Jerry... I was here before there even was a Lysine contingency. Uh, Henry Wu, man's last resort, no point discussing this, this is my life's work, this yes. This may be just a job for you, Jerry, but these animals are my life. 
I can't just watch them die, no matter the circumstance. You can't possibly believe it's okay to eradicate an entire species, let alone whole groups of them, regardless of how they came to be here. No one has that right. Uh, bu -bu we're responsible. Well, normally, I'd agree with you. No one has the right to kill an entire species, but surely you recognize that this is a special case. We are responsible. Point discussing this. Care for them, not kill them. It's better this way. Uh, better this I appreciate way. that you're just finding out about this now, Jerry, but I've thought this through. The consequences of allowing the animals to live out their natural lives pale before the crime of euthanizing them out of convenience. It's important you're not concerned? I cannot believe that you're so blasé about something so potentially catastrophic. Could it cause problems for humanity? Sure. But that was the chance we took when we brought them back to life. Never mind the human toll. We could be talking about mass extinctions if these dinosaurs find their way to Central America. Care for them, not Yes, kill. we are responsible. Not just for our own welfare, but for the animals as well. I, I don't know, Laura. I, I, I don't know. I need to process this. I, I'm gonna have to tell InGen. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted, break. but don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. come on, in those tunnels, they would smell that smoke on her. Give me a sniff, Jer. No? All right. And now we're back to running from the T-Rex. All right, so quick reaction time. We got this. No good, here it comes, go! Go, 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 come on. To run faster. Gotta change it up. The gate. Chase him! Nope, he wants you. Alright, up, up, up. We got this. Oh, come on. He can get through that. Oh, there's the Velociraptors. Hello, friends. And a little shift. Oh, I had that one. Come on, game. That was all me. Come on. Nice, tasty dinosaur. Stay still. <laughs> we got this. Nipping at the lost raptor. Ooh, got him. Easy as she goes. Do these things ever stop eating? Nope. Jump, there we go. Oh, come on, I had that one too, game. Alright, is he gonna burst through the paddock? Jump down. Ooh, nice flip. Come on, come on! So, now, let's see. Moves out They're there. all in the tunnels now, the right? Dancer or something. Uh, thanks. So Oscar should be chasing Damn. the Velociraptors. You ought to forget our deal chasing, and buy a lottery ticket. The embryos. Chasing the yeah, yeah, other relax. group. Yeah, yeah, relax. I, uh... Gary, or I, Jerry um, and them. You lost it. You lost it? It must Oops. have fallen out. Well, there's the Barbasol can. Oscar's gonna get himself some Velociraptors here. That's right. Go. Unless they're setting a trap for you. Alright, what do we got? We could... High voltage. Let's take a peek at these boxes here. There's the place to hide. Okay. Last thing I need is for those things to see me better. Okay, we're not going to turn the power on. And here's a tunnel door. Is locked. Locked. Good. If I can't open it, they can't either. <laughs> All right, get behind the boxes. Make enough noises, jeez. Here they come. Hmm. 
literally gonna get the drop on him. Ooh, that's not good. Lousy piece of crap. Idioto! Do you know what you've done? Hey! In case you didn't notice, it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it! Hold your horses. That T-Rex is still out there. Let's give him like 10 minutes and he'll probably go away. Wait, why would he move the Parasaur out there? He had a perfectly good spot to eat inside the... inside the paddock. Uh, how can you drop it? Go back out okay, there and get it. so we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless! The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. Uh, fine, I'll get if it myself. you're not man enough to get the embryos back, I'll do it myself. Hang on. The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well... Crap. If you're gonna use logic. <laughs> Just go. And hurry. Come on. We got this, bud. Billy Yoder to the rescue. Darling, what brings a nice girl like you to a place like this? Just grab the can. Got it! Why would you yell? Open the door, open the door! Come on, Bill. Come on, you got it, we got it, we got it. Go, 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 go. Oh, it would have bashed its head through that door in a heartbeat. Oof. <laughs> I got it! Somebody tell Carl Lewis I got some training tips for him. <laughs> okay, great. Nice moves out there. Hey, thanks. Almost makes up for dropping it in the first place. Uh. All right, Oscar, you got this, man. Ooh. This is a big one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. So they should be all here in this corner, right? This seems to be the corner they're all collecting in. Oop, there's the glowing eyes. Stop! What? I saw eyes. Probably a rat or something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too? Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Oh, uh oh Eyes? No? Okay. Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay. We can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. All right, and I think that is a fantastic place to leave you guys high and dry. So come on back for the next episode of Jurassic Park the Game here at Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this one. If you've enjoyed the content, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe so you get it all in an orderly fashion and on time. And I'll see you in the next one.